What is going on guys, Vicky here. I am back with another kind of new series starting. It's not really another challenge, but I am starting a mini cut. Or not really a mini cut, I am starting a full cutting phase. And just starting new goals and on a new program, new training program, new goals. Just new way of living to reach my goal physique. I'm just happy to be back with you guys, man. Uh, since last time you saw me was the last day of my 75 hard challenge. And I killed that challenge I did really good on that challenge and that after that challenge finished I kind of just disappeared I kind of went ghost and I wasn't really doing anything like I just kind of fell off I wasn't really sticking to my training plan I wasn't really sticking to my diet I wasn't really sticking to anything I kind of just used the end of that challenge as an end to or like as an excuse to just fall off and just not do what I'm supposed to be doing but 10 days later 11 days later now I'm back at it and I'm back on my health and fitness grind and I'm just eager to get started on this new this new path and this new journey and I'm just I'm just excited to start and I'm excited to share with you guys it's not gonna be as intensely documented as my 75 hard challenge like where I was filming every couple days but it is gonna be a couple vlogs a week and some other videos thrown in there and just a mix of a couple things so hope you guys enjoy I need to do some renovating to my room my lights are falling down and I have some other stuff to add to my walls so I'm gonna do that later today once it's only actually three o'clock in the morning right now Try to get my sleep schedule back on track, but I slept so much the last like three or four days. I've just been sleeping like nonstop because I've just been so just depressed and out of it and not wanting to do anything. That I've been sleeping so much that I just slept for about three or four hours last night, and I just was wide awake at two o'clock this morning. I am starting to feel a little bit drowsy now. I'm starting to feel that, but I'm just excited to start with this new this new phase of my life. And um, yeah, I'm excited to get back to work on docking on working on editing for you guys and just get back into the whole thing because I miss doing it and it's day one right now of this new journey that I'm on and I want to share this with you guys so thank you guys for watching <laughs> I'm about to go do my first workout of this new cutting phase. I'm starting a strict training plan that I'm starting with the app called Boost Camp. Uh, there's different programs you can take through them and I've chosen one specific to the goals that I want to meet so I'm starting that one uh, today and I'm gonna start it's probably gonna be a four week program that I'm starting on and then I'll continue if necessary but yeah, get this done, guys. That first workout on my new training program just totally wiped me out. Like this is the first actual workout I've even done since I finished my 75 hard challenge, which was last almost a week ago. It was about six days ago now. Actually, it's been longer than that. It's been a week and six days. I just totally lost track of time. I totally just wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. I just used that finishing of that program just as an, ex as an excuse to just relax and just kind of do whatever I wanted to because I wasn't doing that program anymore and I wasn't like held accountable by anything like to just get everything done every day so I want to get back into the swing of things I've started meditating again I meditated again today I'm starting to do my workouts again I'm on a training plan I'm on a strict diet and cut my calories are 1700 calories it's like 1734 or something I'll have to look at the exact amount I'll show you on my fitness pal 
but yeah, they stick below those every day and hit a uh, strict protein goal every day. Um, carbs and fats, I don't really calculate too much of, but I try to stay low on the carbs, lower on the carbs than I'm used to because I'm cutting out a lot of the processed foods and stuff that I was eating and eating a whole lot cleaner and like more whole foods. I just finished, whoa, that workout really wiped me out. That's like the first time I've done that on like in a while. So I'm excited to get back on track, get on my new training program. Excited to share my new journey with you guys, my new cut. It's day one of my 30 day, actually day, it's just, I'm not gonna say 30 days. It's just day one of my getting goal to get to my dream physique or I don't know how I'm going to word that. Uh, day one of my journey to my dream physique, uh, which I'm hoping will be in the next two months. I'll be where I'm at. I just have about 20 pounds of fat to lose and a bit of muscle to gain that I, till I'm like happy with where I want to be. I want to get my legs more in shape, so I'm going to work heavily on my legs. I'm excited to get back on this new program and to get back on track and focus on a new thing in my life because I was starting to really just fall off there and not even care what even happened. Like I was just kind of just lost it there for a couple weeks but I'm back I'm back on my new program back on my new in my new fitness oriented mindset second today and I finished on the 12th so it's actually been 10 days since I finished my challenge that I kind of just ra fell rampant off like went rampant for but I'm back now 10 days later ready to start over and get where I want to be and hit all my goals and I want to share that with you guys uh, every step of the way, but it's not going to be like the la as detailed as like going into my every single day of my 75 hard challenge was. But yeah, let's get into the rest of this video. I it's a Saturday today, so not much going on. There's no mail or anything coming. I've actually been doing really well on the not online shopping the last little bit. Like I've barely got anything in the mail this last like since I pretty much finished the 75 hard challenge. I barely got any packages, and I'm like priding myself on that because as you guys have seen in my 75 hard challenge that I had a real bad like online shopping addiction I was probably getting like eight packages a day with like multiple things in each package and yeah it was just getting out of control so I'm trying to save money now I'm trying to it's trying to part of my goal of my one of my goals going forward my new goals is to start saving up and save some money I thought my cat was yelling but yeah, I'm going to start redoing my room. I'm just, I did my, I, as you guys seen in my, uh, if you watch my end of my 75 hard challenge, I redecorated my whole room, but I just let it get to crap the last little bit. So it's all dirty and messy and I just need to rearrange everything and put everything in the right spot. And I want to finish doing the walls how I want them because I just got more diamond 3D panels that I want to put up on one of the walls. And also my LED lights are starting to come down in like some of the walls and I don't know, it's just not looking how I want it to be. So I'm going to get on that and yeah, uh, let's get into this rest of this video. Hope you guys enjoy. It is currently 2 a.m. in the morning. I've been sleeping since about 10 p.m. or maybe even 9 p.m. Only slept for about three or four hours. I've been actually sleeping a lot the last few days. Just, I think it's because of my low iron, honestly. Um, I've re just recently realized that my li iron is really low and that causes really like fatigue and a lot of tiredness. So I've been sleeping a lot the last few days, but I just slept for like three or four hours and I'm just wide awake right now. I was planning on trying to sleep through the night and get my sleep schedule back on track from sleeping to like 10 p.m. to 10 uh, like 10 p.m. to like 6 a.m. or whatever but it's only 2 a.m. right now and I'm wide awake I'm doing my sunlight lamp I uh, just get my morning rays even though it's still like middle of the night I'm drinking my water get my water in the first thing I try, try to do when I wake up is chug at least one of these keep one by my bed first thing I do when I wake up and usually I find that I'm really thirsty when I wake up anyway so it actually just like helps helps me quench my thirst um look at this guy look at that guy he's so cute I'm um, just gonna write in my journal and just plan some stuff out I've been really on like the self-improvement train the last like couple days just trying to watch as much as I can on YouTube on self-improvement and just making goals and planning out how I want to go forward the next little bit because I really am really am going to give this my all and go forward again I know I didn't make I did make a lot of progress with the 75 hard challenge and I actually did complete it and got it all done but I just want to now get to my dream physique and my goal physique and just be where I want to be in life I, uh, I put these on last night anyways okay I have mouth tape that I wear at night 
so I have mouth tape at night with breathe right strips so I can breathe properly through my nose. I will listen to a white noise machine so I can fall asleep easy. I'm just about to do a morning meditation, which I've just started recently doing after I do my sunlight lamp. And yeah, I'm just gonna get a productive start on the day. By no means are these supplements you actually have to take. These are ones that I choose to take personally because they help me are helping me get to the goals that I want to achieve, such as um, iron pills because I have a low iron I have iron deficiency at the moment, and also that goes with the B12 pills because I have a B12 deficiency. But these ones are all um, just ones I take. The biotin also goes in with that because it is the iron deficiency is help is like making me lose my hair a little bit. So this is helps me keep my hair. I also take a multivitamin. D3, a probiotic, omega-3, and a green supplement because I don't get nearly enough green. So all the supplements I'm taking at the moment currently, I also take medication every day for mental health stuff. I take Prozac to help with my OCD. I take Abilify, which is an antipsychotic just to kind of keep me on track. And I take uh, Rebeprazole, which is an antacid pill because I have like a uh, and like GERD, I think it's called gastrointestinal re anti acid reflux. I don't know what's the exact term for it, but um, also I take Concerta, which is um, like an ADHD medication. Those are the medications I take currently, uh, and the supplements I take currently. I try to be as consistent as I can with taking them every day. I just stopped taking them for like the last little bit, but I'm just getting back on track taking them all now. Except for it's really difficult trying to plan them all because the, the greens one. You have to take within a few hours of any other ones and they all have to be taken with like food and I don't know it's just hard to try to plan them all out and the iron one has to be taken within a few hours of all the other ones so yeah it's just hard trying to plan them all out every day but I do get them done and I do plan on continuing to take those ones Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body I can't tell you really what it is but you got it Make up in the morning you got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight you in love with being modest You a mood body giving sin views I'm just saying I'm amused But you ain't even flexing And you cool tatted up cover rooms different vibe you know ain't But you ain't even flexing And you ain't gotta try too hard Number one fan your side your plot Let me think about inside the most Words got deep, it's like a swat Making me better, you hotter than pepper, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You with a big stepper who chasing the cheddar, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of these women, they not on your level, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move by you giving I was actually really considering, seeing as I am up so early and it is like it's 2.30 a.m. right now, and I like to go to the gym when I did go, because I still do have a membership. When I would go to the gym, I would like to go at like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., when there's no one there, so I can get some filming done, and just get a good workout in, but I don't know if I really feel like walking there right now at like this time of the morning, because it's kind of shady, kind of sketchy. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel really, I kind of feel a bit uneasy about it, honestly. Um... I am going to get started on my first meal of the day. I'm probably just gonna make a protein pancake. I've started a new meal prep. I wanna show you guys what, how I do it. It's a new meal prep that I started doing and I wanna show you guys how to do it so you can pro possibly do it for yourself. Um, but yeah, let's show you how it's done. You guys, literally all you do for these uh, meal prep pancakes is you take some jars and you put 40 grams of your favorite um, pancake mix in it. I just use protein pancake mix because you get extra protein. And then you take 13 grams of your favorite vanilla protein powder, which I use raw from, or the vanilla from Raw Nutrition, Code V, 10% off. And then you just put that in jars and just mix them up together. If you want to make them a bit fluffier, add about an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. But if not, just put them in jars, leave them there. When you're ready to make them, take them out of the, just take your jar, put it in a bowl, egg a third of egg whites, and yeah, then just put it on the pan and make your pancake and it is about 30 grams of protein depending on what pancake mix you use and your protein powder but it's about 30 grams of protein 25 grams of carbs and just like a gram of fat and then I just use some sugar-free maple syrup so with some fruit and that is my breakfast usually and that is what I'm gonna go with today and then I'm gonna take my greens um, supplement and yeah I will show you guys once this pancake is made Here we have a delicious protein pancake 
and I just put some frozen blueberries in the microwave. Just half a serving of frozen blueberries. Got some zero sugar maple syrup, zero calorie maple syrup. I know you guys might be thinking that that one pancake doesn't really like fill you up or nothing, but that's actually made me really full. See what's going on? I'm actually really full from that pancake. Like, I couldn't eat another one if I like was forced to. And now I'm gonna eat my triple green. Not eat, but take my green supplement. I'm excited to start editing this video too. I think I'm gonna start on that soon. Cause it's been like literally 10 days since I've edited a video and I was really enjoying doing that on the 75 hard challenge. So I'm gonna enjoy getting back into that and just working on that hopefully more often. Will be more often just. <clears throat> oh, I'm so full from that pancake like that. Just, I don't even know how that made me that full. 30 grams of protein and easy. Usually I, what I like to do is have one of the premier protein drinks with it, so that's like actual an extra like 30 grams of protein on top of that, so it's actually 60 grams of protein with my just my first meal, and it's only like less than 400 calories altogether. But I don't have any premier proteins right now or any protein drinks, so I was going to make a protein shake, but I just don't want to use the blender this early because it's kind of going to wake some people up, and I'm not really done with that, but anyways. Meal number two. I've been absolutely loving like fruit, like bananas and strawberries and apples. It's been a fruit kick lately. And also eggs. I've just been eating eggs by themselves. Just plain eggs with some sugar free ketchup on. So good. And some everything but the bagel seasoning. Mm -mm. Since I'm trying to create a better version of myself and level up my game, it is currently 6 11 a.m. and I'm gonna go for a walk and take it back to the 75 hard challenge that I was doing I'd go for a walk every morning 45 minutes I don't know if I'm gonna go for that long but I'm gonna get out of the house and go for a walk and just get my body moving and just get this day started productively mission accomplished guys 6 40 a.m. I went for a half hour walk pretty much yeah I felt good uh, getting back out there and being productive is like I said I'm leveling up these days I'm trying to better myself do one up on myself just doing better than we were yesterday, right? That's all you can do. Give it 100, get 1% 1 better each day. End it there for today's video, guys. I want to get this video out to you. And yeah, just we're leveling up these days. So stay tuned for a lot more coming from me. And we're just going to improve our, ourselves day by day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.